Why well, some black person got a ride past and be like, do, 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 do. honey, weather was pretty nice today, honey. <laughs> ah, the scenic roads of Georgia. Like, I mean, come on, man. Why the fuck do you got, why the fuck do we got to care about that shit? Shout out to Acadia. Shout out to not Jimmy Stewart. He said, awkward. Hey, man, why the fuck do we got to care about this shit, man? I blame whoever came up with the out of Africa theory. That's who I blame. That's who I blame. Whoever came up with the out of Africa theory, I blame them for this shit. For for some people seeing this on Halloween and thinking that it's it's it's, it's about them because it's a goddamn noose. I blame the out of Africa theory. And I know a lot of y'all probably like here go Professor Ock and all that shit, but yo, seriously though. If you think about it, think about it. This is a theory. This is, there's no, this is not a fact. This is not nothing. The out of Africa theory is a theory. That's why they call it the out of Africa hypothesis. Is a model for the origin and dispersal of modern humans. The hypothesis contends that humans evolved in East Africa dispersing to populate the rest of the world from 17 for 70,000 years ago replacing rather than interbreeding with the archaic hominids that were present outside of Africa here's my thing without this right because there's no ruins in Africa. There's no ruins. There's no evidence of any ancient civilizations. We're not included in any ancient texts. The Mahabharata, whatever that thing in India is, we're not in the Quran. We're not in the Bible. Even though people try to say we ham or whatever. But we're basically... Just, we're not involved. The out of Africa theory basically elevates us to where we're the first people. Everyone comes from us. Black people went to the Caucasus Mountains and their noses grew like fucking hooks out of their nose and their lips got thin and their hair got straight and their skin got white and their brains got bigger. <laughs> they learned how to reason and problem solve. <laughs> and all that's bullshit. But the the, the out of Africa theory is it, it, it makes black people it gives us an accomplishment that the ultimate accomplishment we're the first people all of you came from us everything is about us everything revolves about us and it and it and it's the engine it's the wind beneath hotep wings man it's the battery and hotep back Without this theory, I contend that most black people would be more um, <laughs> tolerable, man. You could, they'd be less annoying. What do you think? Press one. Tell me what you guys think. I think black people would be more tolerable and less annoying without the out of Africa th hypothesis. 
So one family's Halloween decorations are causing controversy in Cartersville. They have a body with brown hands hanging from a tree with a noose around its neck, and some people say it's too much. They say it looks like someone who's black, and they want this to come down. It's on Cassville Road, a busy street in Bartow County. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez live there with a look at this display. Ty? Well, Justin, it seems like everyone... Look here... how happy she is. Look at how happy she is. Look at how happy, and you see this a lot with black people, how happy we are when we, when we finally find some racism. We're overjoyed. We're overjoyed when we finally find some racism. We're overjoyed. It makes us it makes us feel important when white people take the time to be racist. White people actually were thinking about us. Cause deep down inside, we know white people don't give a fuck about us. We know white people, they're 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 too busy running everything to be thinking about us all the time. And when we finally get some evidence, hey, some black, some, <laughs> some white people was thinking about us, y'all. <laughs> Enough to be hating on us and be racist, y'all. We latch on to it, man. Hill Road, a busy street in Bartow County. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez live there with a look at this display, Ty. Well, Justin, it seems like everyone here in Cartersville has seen the man hanging from the tree, and they're saying it's creepy. And you know what? When I look at that animal skull... It's it supposed to be creepy, you fucking morons. It's supposed to be creepy. That was the idea. It's supposed to be creepy. I don't know what I'm going to do with you sun turds, man. The man hanging from the tree, and they're saying it's creepy. And you know what? When I look at that animal skull, it is quite creepy. But when you look at the hands, they do have brown gloves, and that is what is upsetting many people. <laughs> maybe those were the only fucking gloves the guy had. And maybe it's because the shirt is brown. Oh, so this is a black person because it's brown. Okay. So they're going to say something about the gloves being brown, but they ain't going to say nothing about the shirt being brown. People, the family says they can keep it up. They have Oh, you know what? <laughs> this actually might be a brother, man. Look, the pants are sagging, man. <laughs> it's a brother, man. His pants sagging, man. Oh, shit. His motherfucking pants sagging, man. Look, man. Oh, shit. His motherfucking pants sagging, man. Shout out to Eric S. Oct Nation Hall of Famer, man. Yeah, man. I, I, there it is. That is a brother, man. His pants sagging, man. When you look at the hands, they do have brown gloves, and that is what is upsetting many people. The family says they can keep it up. They have First Amendment rights. But one neighbor got so mad, she yanked it down herself. 
Every year we've always decorated together as a family. Decorating for Halloween is something this Cartersville family on Castle Road has a lot of fun with. This year, they decided to hang a body from a tree. The kids who live here love it. Oh, they love Halloween. They're both excited about Mr. Creepy in the tree. But the president of the Bartow chapter of the NAACP <laughs> sees this differently. This was really cool. Isn't this evidence that these niggas don't have nothing really to worry about? Isn't this evidence? If you were, if you were, if you were, thinking like, damn, black people got a rough in this country. And you see this, you're like, well, God damn it. If they had it so rough, there would be no way they had time for this, man. There would be no time for stuff like this, man. You would have no time. creepy in the tree. But the president of the Bartow chapter of the NAACP sees this differently. This was really crossing the line. It was offensive. It really just signified an insane. This guy has an IQ of probably 80. And I'm not even trying to be like, yo, it just is what it is, man. This guy probably has an IQ of 80. And that's if you're lucky. And that's just what it is. That's what the data says, man. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at the data. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at the data. Salute to Eric as Op Nation Hall of Famer. I'm going to do it once again. Please take the $5 challenge. We got a great show for you tonight, man. We going we gonna to go in on everything tonight. I, I promise you this guy, if this guy got an IQ of 80, that's a win. But this country affords him the, the right to have success. You can have success in this country with an IQ of 80. This was really crossing the line. It was offensive. It really just signified and insinuated that it was a person and it was a person of color. And Bartow County has a history of hangings here in this county. And to do that is just not appropriate. A neighbor thought the same thing, especially because the hands look brown because the gloves are brown. According to the homeowner, that neighbor came over and took down the decoration herself. She said because... Uh, the thing underneath the mask is black and her shirt is black. So she was thinking that it's a black person and it, it's not. That's just the spare clothes that my husband had that he was going to throw away anyway. <laughs> That's why I just. <laughs> Yo. I think this is the nail, man. This is the, the straw that broke the camel's back, man. This is the straw that broke the camel's back, man. Y'all are, I, I, I can't do this with y'all anymore. Where I, you know, give y'all the benefit of the doubt. Where I take it easy. Nah, man. Black people are fucking morons, man. Period. Oh, she said because, uh, the thing underneath the mask is black and her shirt is black. So she was thinking that it's a black person. And it, it's not. That's just the spare clothes that my husband had that he was going to throw away anyway. <laughs> That's why I just picked those. No no other reason other than that. And the gloves are, are garbage gloves. So The family put it back up. A local pastor hopes the family listens to the community. <laughs> listens to the community. Meanwhile, like fucking... 10 black people will get killed in this area this week, murdered in the streets. There'll be no arrest. 10 black people will be murdered in the streets in this, in this region, in the street. I'm talking about publicly. No one will be arrested for like eight of them. 
the local black schools in this area, the kids are performing abysmally. I'm talking about abysmally. The kids are performing so bad, it's almost impossible to perform that bad at the local school, black schools in this area. Gloves, so. The family put it back up. A local pastor hopes the family listens to the community's concerns. If you really want to uh, uh, celebrate Halloween and not be offensive, shouldn't be a problem for you to take it down, hang it around the waist if you want to, or just hang up something different. <laughs> Shout out to Barry B, man. Coming through once again, man. Salute to you, Barry B. Taking a five dollar challenge. Just a bunch of moon crickets, man. Doing what moon crickets do. To the community's concerns. If you really want to uh, uh, celebrate Halloween and not be offensive, shouldn't be a problem for you to take it down. Hang it around the waist if you want to, or just hang up something different. Now, someone called 911 to report the body hanging, and when deputies showed up, they said the family. Oh, so black people, <laughs> think about this, y'all. Think about this, y'all. I want y'all to think about this, man. If that was a little girl that had gotten shot in public, a little three-year-old girl got shot in public, none of these fuckers would call 911 with any information. But there's a fucking goddamn goat Lucy head hanging from fucking, a goat Lucy head hanging from a fucking tree obviously a halloween prop and black people calling the police about this giving up information snitching cooperating with investigations yeah i i can understand why people hate you i can understand black people black people hey look at me in the eyes black people i understand why people fucking hate you now, someone called 911 to report the body hanging, and when deputies showed up, they said the family is not breaking the law, so there's nothing they can do. Now, uh, Halloween is still more than three weeks away, so if you're driving by or if you live near here, you're probably going to have to look at Mr. Creepy in the tree. We're live in Cartersville in Bartow County. Taisha Fernandez.